All right, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to tie floss ligature. So this is a really good way of securing your rubber dam in position. You just tie it around the tooth and it prevents the rubber dam from uh, moving up. So it keeps the rubber dam in position. Uh, the floss that you need to use is going to be a durable one. You don't want to use those cheap flimsy flosses because as you're tying, it'll just snap itself. So I'm using this one. It's reliable enough and it doesn't really break when I'm tying. You'll take off about 15 centimeters of floss, between 15 to 20 centimeters. The more experienced you get with this, the less floss you'll need. But as you're starting out, I'd suggest just grab a long piece. So this is around 20 centimeters, which I'm using. So here we have our piece of floss. Now, when you're tying floss ligature and you're watching somebody do it, it looks so complicated. But I promise you, once you get the hang of doing this, it's very, very easy. And you can probably do it with your eyes closed. So I'm going to show you how it's done first. So I'll do it at my normal pace of doing this. Then I'll do another one where I'll slow it down and show you the individual steps. So here is how we do it. We grab the piece of floss like this. Alright, so that's how it's done, and I'm going to show you guys now, I'm going to take these gloves off actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, we take our piece of floss, like so, remember I said about 15 to 20 centimeters, um, then we are going to kind of divide it into two, I'm going to hold it with uh, my left hand here, and I have my index finger and thumb holding it from this side. You're then going to kind of invert downwards like that. So I'm going to show you that motion again. Invert downwards like this. And then you're going to kind of loosen. Can you see this piece of uh, floss which is going um, in the direction of my fingers? It's going like that. You're going to want to pull it slightly to make some space. So remember, you're touching your fingers together. You're going to pull this back. And then you're going to bring kind of your index finger through that space that's made. So it kind of looks like that. And then you bring your thumb into that sort of a circle that you made. So then we get this. I'm going to show it you again because I'm making it sound a bit confusing, but hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing in slow motion and it's making sense. So index finger, thumb like this. Kind of spread your fingers out like that. Pull this space, uh, sorry, pull this piece here back to make some space and bring your index finger through like that and then you want to open the area out with your finger like this so you've got some space and bring your thumb and widen it like this all right so we're left with this now this is the halfway point can you see that so now we're like this you're going to basically do the same thing again you want this area, though, this time, to kind of be on the inner side. Can you see how I've brought it from here? And I've put it on the inner side in this area. So in your vision, you want to have this area here to be on the inner side. So once you've done that, you pinch your fingers together again. Finger and thumb together. Bring your index finger through in that space. Like that. And then with your middle finger you're going to open the area out like so and then you just widen this area with your two fingers and you've got yourself a floss tie so the more you pull it the tighter it gets one last time I'm going to show you guys I'll do it in slow motion Okay. When you get to this point, you kind of want to just allow the knot to tie itself 
so you just keep the area open and the knot is going to tie itself just by pulling this it causes the knot to tie there we go let's do one more because I don't want any confusion and I want you guys to watch this video and then be confident with doing a floss tie so let's look at this again okay so we've got firm grip here You want it through there, and then bring index finger through like this, and then you just allow that to tie itself. When you pull it, it ties itself. One more time, I'm gonna do it. So, this is the last time. Hopefully, you guys will pick this up. I honestly suggest um, just getting a piece of floss and trying it while I'm showing you. So, like this, pull that back and then open this space out. Remember I use my middle finger there. Okay, and open the area out again. We're at the halfway point. Move this area there. Also pulling this can help, can help as well. So you want this area on the inner side, pull this area out, and then bring your fingers through it, like this. And then pull here, and the knot will tie. And then as you pull, it gets tighter. Alright, hope this was useful for you guys. Let me know how it goes in the comments, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All the best.